Well, good evening. How y'all is? Today, we're going to be sampling here something I never tried before from Kroger. This is the private selection here. Coconut, sweet chili, and shrimp purses. I'll show you what they look like. We'll read the prescription. And we'll see what they taste like. Join me! Ciao, y'all! Now, today, so that's what they look like coming out of the package there. See, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They couldn't give me a baker's dozen, but they did give me a dozen. So, here in the description, it says in the conventional oven, that's what we're gonna do preheat it to 400 degrees for 10 minutes, remove appetizers from the packaging. Arrange purses standing up at least one inch apart on a line baking sheet. Place it in there for 12 to 14 minutes until they're golden brown. That's what we're going to do. Now you tell them they're so cute. Be a good little appetizer for your uh, Christmas party, uh, New Year's Eve party. They smell good too. Very fragrant. Let's see what they taste like. Let's cook them up. Hopefully they be good as they look. So there we are, they're all lined up. We're gonna throw them in the oven like I see. So if you're wondering what's in these, it's a spring roll wrapper. You got shrimp, carrot, spinach, sweet chili sauce, garlic, salt, xanthan gum, coconut milk, a coconut, green onion, ginger, soy sauce, and uh so that's about it now on the uh, instructions here the prescription is say so you can pair it with this sauce so there's a sauce you can make that's what they suggest we'll make our own up here so for the sauce we're going to make here is we're going to use some chili garlic sauce here sambal some lime juice use some mirin here some mayploy sweet chili sauce and some Lee Kum Key oyster sauce. Gonna make, give that a mix, that'll be a dipping sauce. So we got our sambal in there. It's a hot chili garlic sauce puree. We have this mirin in here now. Mirin's a sweetened wine. Kind of like rice wine vinegar without the tanginess of the vinegar part. Alrighty. Next, we're gonna throw in some of this oyster sauce. Okay, some sweet chili sauce. Okay, and some lime juice. We're gonna squeeze lime off in there. This is gonna be a tasty little sauce. And it's pretty close to what they said on there on the package. That's a good pairing for it. Let's give that a shake. And voila, there we are. 14 minutes later. We're ready to try these out. And our sauce. See what these here taste like. And that sauce tastes like. Well, it's time for the moment of truth. More hot. Mm mm mm. Too damn hot. Burn my mouth off. Well, after sticking something in my mouth that was 400 degrees, it's kind of hard to taste any damn thing. Whew. Anyway, I'm trying to get the flavors. It's got a good aftertaste. I can taste ginger and all those different uh, flavors. So let's cut one open and see what it looked like inside.
That's what the inside look like. Okay, I've let this one properly cool down so it won't burn my face off. Let's see what it tastes like. I can actually taste it. Hmm. Pretty tasty. But I know my sauce is tasty, so the next piece I'm going to try without the sauce. So here we go. Piece without the sauce. Good. It doesn't taste fishy. Tastes the spinach. Tastes the ginger. Pretty balanced flavor. And for less than 50 cents a piece, can't really go wrong. It's a nice little appetizer. So Mrs. Chef's trying one too. She said, what do you think? I think they're great. Think they're great? All right. Well, they're for I mean, they were $4.99 on sale. Awesome. And for, um, I didn't give you serve those at an appetizer at a party. Like, yeah, oh, awesome. yeah, people will be uh, be happy to see that at a, at a party, a dinner party. All right, well, thanks for joining us. Here's our review. Hope you enjoyed the film. Go out and get you some, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>